friends, welcome to Love and Life's Journey and day six of Vlogmas. In yesterday's vlog, I mentioned that I picked up those plastic Christmas village houses from Dollar Tree for a DIY project. And so today, that is what I'm going to be sharing with you. Now, I have been looking for some new stocking holders for our mantle. And I have found out that they are pretty spendy to buy and I could spend over a hundred dollars on a set of four of them easily. So I do not want to do that. So I kind of went on the hunt to figure out a way to make my own and this is what I have come up with. So I'm really excited to share this project with you. So let's jump in and get started. I picked up four of the little plastic Christmas Village houses from Dollar Tree and I tried to get all different styles. Honestly, these are the only four that they had in stock at my Dollar Tree and so these are the ones I picked. I also grabbed four of the unfinished wood chunky ornaments from the Crafter's Square aisle. If you don't have these available, you can use any block of wood. I also grabbed four bags of the clear glass beads or marbles. Either one will work. And I picked up some hooks from Walmart. This is a six pack of coat hooks and I believe it was about $7 for this package. I'll be using some white spray paint and I chose this one because it says it bonds to plastic and I think this will work great on those houses. I'm also going to be using some black chalk paint and I'm going to use some E6000 as well as my hot glue gun with some Gorilla Glue sticks. First I am going to spray paint my houses with the white spray paint and I am doing several light coats. It actually took me three to four coats of paint to cover all the color and to get in all of the little uh, grooves and everything on, on the buildings. So um, this takes a little bit of time because you want to let your paint dry in between each coat. So while I'm waiting for my paint to dry in between each coat of paint, I'm going to prep the bases and so I'm going to remove the hanger off of those ornaments and I am going to cut one side of these to be flat since they're kind of scalloped. Uh, I need one edge to be straight so that uh, I can attach the hook for my stocking and I lucked out because these barely fit inside my miter box and so I was able to um, push them down into the miter box and use this to cut them. If you have a different way to to cut these then by all means use what's easiest for you but this did work for me and so uh, I'm just going to cut all of the bases to have this one straight side. And I'm going to take a piece of sandpaper and I'm rounding off the corners where I just sawed off that edge just to make them a little more of a softer edge and then I'm sanding any rough edges and just getting it all smooth and ready to paint. Next I'm going to fill the holes and I am using hot glue and a trick I use is to set the hole on a metal surface like a metal ruler and then I'm filling the hole with the hot glue and I just hold that down tight until the glue sets. Then when I pull that off of the ruler uh, I have a nice smooth surface and the glue hasn't hasn't seeped out anywhere or, or made a rough surface. So 
Um, that is a trick that I use, and you can use wood filler if you'd like to fill the hole with that, but I find this to be a pretty easy way to do it. Then I'm going to paint my bases, all the front, the back, the sides, all with my black chalk paint. And a tip here, when you're painting raw wood, if you would spray it with a matte finish sealer before you paint, it will actually be easier to paint. Usually you only have to use one coat. Um, it just seals the wood and the paint doesn't soak into the wood as, as badly. So um, that's just a tip. I did that with these, only had to paint one coat on. Um, and it went on really well because I had sprayed that matte sealer onto the wood first. So my houses are all painted and the paint is dry and I, th I think it was pretty much four coats of paint that I had to use. And one thing I did not notice until after I had painted them white is that this one is crooked. The base of it is not down all the way and it's not something that I can fix, it's just the way it was made. So the house sits a little bit crooked. Um, I probably will go get a replacement if I can find one, but something to watch out for. So now I'm using just an old paintbrush and I'm going to dry brush some of the black chalk paint on uh, some areas of the houses. I'm going to hit all of the corners and the edges and a few of the raised areas and just some various places on the roofs just to give them a little bit more of a, a aged look. And this will also break up the white and bring out the details of each building. So now that everything is painted, I'm going to take those clear glass marbles and beads and I'm going to fill up the houses with these. And it's really easy because there's already a hole in the bottom where you would put like a tea light, like um, LED tea light, but I'm just going to fill these up. And I chose the clear because I didn't want any type of color showing through the windows of the houses. So I'm going to fill these up and this is going to give the stocking holders some weight so that when you hang a stocking on there, hopefully they will stay up on the mantle and not fall down. And I found that as I put these in, if I kept shaking it and shaking them down, I could get a lot more in. So the more you can get in, the more weight this will have. Then I just used a little wooden box to set mine in while I was working on it so that the marbles wouldn't all roll out. I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and cut it just big enough to glue over the hole to help hold those in and so I'm going to use a little bit of E6000 and hot glue just to glue this in place. And I apologize, I think my tripod got bumped and I didn't realize that my picture wasn't in the center of the frame so I'm really sorry about that. Then I'm going to glue the house to the center of the wooden base and I've just marked where the center is on that base and you want to make sure that the front of your house is facing that flat edge that uh, we cut off because that's where the hook is going to go. And some of the houses may overlap the edge of the base a little bit and that's totally fine. It's not really going to make a difference. The last step is to add the hooks to the bases and so I just using these hooks like I said I picked them up at Walmart for seven dollars for this package and there's six hooks in here and uh, these are perfect for this project and so I am going to drill some holes uh, pre-drill this before I screw the hooks on just because I don't want to split the wood so I would recommend doing that. And I had my Dremel tool close, so I decided I was going to try and drill the holes using that. It totally did not work well on this wood for that. And so I ended up having to get the drill 
um, the regular drill to pre-drill my holes and in the meantime my camera turned off and so I didn't get that footage recorded but I'm just pre-drilling holes and then screwing these hooks into the bases. Now I did want to give you an alternative way to make these if you can't find these things at your Dollar Tree Walmart carries these flat stocking holders. They come in different colors, gold, galvanized, bronze, uh, silver, and they're already weighted. And then they also have these little ceramic houses for $1.97 each, and they are the same size as the ones from Dollar Tree. So you could totally paint these houses or leave them the way that they are. They have the hole in the bottom, but you don't need to add extra weight because that hook that stocking holder um, is already weighted so it could save you time and the cost is about the same. And they had a fairly good selection of houses. These are some that I picked up but they did have more than this. So here are my finished stocking holders and guys I love these. I am so pleased with how these turned out. It cost me about $20 for a set of four, and I know there were only three here, but I didn't want to make that one with the crooked house, so I will be replacing that one. But $20 for a set of four, way better than a hundred plus dollars. So um, I'm really happy with these. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you stick around for more DIYs. So hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day.